right, welcome into another edition of the Vegas Square Snippets. I have spooked people. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is Halloween. It is Halloween, so I guess that is uh, par for the course. Take here. off your mask, you freak. <laughs> this isn't a mask. Anyways, we are talking about the initial college football playoff rankings that have come out. And let the debates begin, because that's basically the only value that these have here in week yeah. nine of the college football sure. season. Because other than that, I mean, at, the, at, the, at, at, at face value, the only one that matters is the last one. So if you feel like you are not one, two, three, or four as a ex-college football fan, meaning a football fan of X or a football fan of Y, don't fret. There's still a lot of football left to be played. There is, what, one whole month and some change? Mm-hmm. I got the Tonys in studio, Token Tony, Tony Johnson, or as Spike likes to call him, Fake Token. Um, he does not like to be called that, but it, you know, every so often it, it makes me giggle a little bit. I just More like, than every so often. Yeah, I just are, found it funny like, that he, you know, he was like, yeah, Fake Token over there. So. He did. He yelled it with, with some venom. He was, he was not happy at that moment. Yeah. Exactly. So, All right, well, without further ado, if you have been living under a rock, we do have the playoffs for you. It is one, Bama, two, Clemson, three, LSU, four, Notre Dame, just on the outside, Michigan, the UGA, Oklahoma, Washington State, Kentucky, and Ohio State round out the top ten. Initial thoughts, token. Not too surprised on these rankings for sure. Um, one kind of doesn't really too surprise me too much is UCF just not getting any love. So, Yeah, actually, you know, obviously, I don't know if you're aware, I, I am a fan of UCF. Oh. I don't yes. know if you guys know that. Oh, I can't wait, yeah. Yeah, there's a bottle opener right by your door right here, so. Oh, yeah, I forgot that's there. <laughs> um, though, though you can't even say the name properly half the time, so. At one time, Jesus Christmas. It was more than one time. They started last year with a, in my opinion, better roster, better schedule, and opened up the CFP rankings at 16. This year, they have a slightly inferior roster, an inferior schedule, and they're number 12. Mm. So based on that and that alone, do not tell me that these rankings are based on one season. And I'm using my team. Yep. Do not tell me that these rankings are based on one on an individual season because I call bullshit. I agree with that. It um, has to be true, yeah. Totally agree. And the thing is, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, know, I know everybody, you know, when you turn this on, if you've listened to our program you know, regularly, you'll know that I'm a UCF ball washer. And I'm okay with that, but at, but I'm using my program, my beloved UCF Knights, to show you that, to show you the bias of the college football committee. Yeah, they well, should. I, I, yeah, I'm, based on I, if it's individual seasons, they should not be ranked number twelve. No, definitely not, definitely not. And just to your point, with I think how good that defense was, especially compared to this year's defense last year, they should have been given more love rankings wise. Uh, Previous year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no question. So I'm, I'm with you 100%. I don't usually agree with you on UCF stuff because I think you're a bit of a, a wacky guy. Well, I, but, believe um, that yeah. I believe that their P5 bias is still showing in here. And we'll dissect a little bit of all of these um, these showings. Uh, because if, if they're trying to hide the over two-year span, we're talking 20 games here. Mm. I don't care who you are. It's hard, it's hard to win 20 games in a row. I'd say that's yeah, uh, unquestionably yeah. true. Yep. No matter who's on your schedule, and I believe very seldomly it happens. So, and all right, so let's start at the top. We got Bama. That's there's no argument there, correct? Yeah, I mean, None. if they run the table, there's hell. If they lose a game, I think they're still probably in. I agree with that statement. If I... they lose to LSU this weekend, do they fall out of the four, or do they fall two four. No way. I think, I, I, I think they fall back. three. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, there's that much. I mean, oh, unless see, if they get, like, just steamrolled or something, but even then. That just seems, I mean, but how can that actually happen? I, mean, it's just I like, can see them what losing by a touchdown, it, maybe, but. But what yeah. is steamrolled to Alabama? I mean, because they are so good. And Lose they, by more than two scores. I was going to say a 10 to 14 point loss could feel like being steamrolled. Mm. Even though it is only a 10 to 14 point loss. That's, that's, that's not a bad point. Um, I just can't. No, I, I think people have seen the, the quarterback doesn't. Their starting quarterback doesn't even play in, in really any second halves for the most part. I I can't fathom them being moved down all that much. I mean, they could have won a lot of these games, and I'm not trying to exaggerate here. They could have won a lot of these games by like 80, 90 points. Oh, I believe yeah. so. If, if they yeah. kept their foot on the gas. Oh like, yeah. 
That's how crazy. Yeah. If they played this, four quarters of, of Alabama yeah. football, they could win. A, they could win a game by a hundred points easily. So, yeah. but just, that's also a product of the people they play too. Yeah, they've had a very weak schedule. Yeah. That's true, but they're also hammering conference teams, and these are not the worst team. You know, Missouri is not a pushover team, no. and I think they beat Missouri extremely handily. Um, so I don't know. I no, I think I'm they not, move down I, three max. Three max would be the lowest they would go, in my opinion. Steamrolled. All right. If they get beat by it, LSU, yeah. over under three and a half, their ranking. Under, obviously, being closer to one. I would say under. You think they're three, two or three? I, I would say three, I said yeah. they go to four. Just okay. Well, obviously, based on the other results in the game. Sure, sure. Of course, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know everybody all Everybody loses, then you know, who knows. But I think LSU vaults to one if they beat them. That's, they should. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100% agree yeah. with that. Yep. But can you – the thing is, is you, you vault LSU to one, a one-loss team, mm-hmm. Over undefeated Clemson and oh, undefeated sure. Notre Dame? Yes. Oh, well, how Notre we... Dame, that's a laugh. I mean, come on. They, they, they played almost no one. Again, not necessarily their fault. They tried to. Michigan. But... Mi- Michigan, yeah. Michigan yeah, was Michigan's the opening game, yeah. But that's really about that's one of, it. That's, that's one of the other arguments I have, too, is because I watched the way it was spun, and it still irks me to this day. And I say this day. It didn't happen that long ago. But uh, UCF beat Pitt. By, uh, believe a score of forty-one to ten. Mm-hmm. So let's yeah. let's call it roughly a thirty-one point victory. Uh, the UCF fans were told that Pitt is a nobody. You shouldn't have scheduled them. It's an embarrassment considering Pitt oh, has that's... also beat Clemson, I believe, two years ago, and I believe they beat Miami last year. Mm. And then you have a Notre Dame team who came in, struggled the entire game, was able to finally overcome and beat Pitt by five points. And we were told that they struggled against a a perennial giant slayer <laughs> because of the fact that, I'll say it again, they beat Clemson two years ago and they beat Miami last year. It's amazing how they spin this shit. I know. It is, it, it is, it's not shocking either, though. Yeah. I mean. It's not. It's it's in, it's really sad, and it's unfortunate because I, I I didn't hear the same like bashing of they shouldn't have scheduled Pitt. I don't think that's. I, maybe I'm sure you heard. Kirk Herb Street said it. Yeah, okay, on I, game day. I, that's fine. That's you fine. need to watch it Saturday at six a.m. I, I no. I re- I, I, re- I re- I re- doing that. I'm at work, so I watch it. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather watch Scott Scott Van Belt. So I'd rather. Well, watch he's awesome, but he's, yeah. he's not on when I'm. Yeah, I don't know. Doing things. <laughs> I, well, okay. He's on that, when he's getting in. That sometimes. notwithstanding, they they they. they they scheduled a team that is a has been a middling to slightly maybe better uh, ACC team versus versus the average, um, and they got them at home, which is good. I don't know. I assume it's a home and away. I'm guessing they'll probably travel there next year or whatever. But I mean, that's it is what it is. It's not. There's nothing more, much more you can ask for. Pitt gets up for some games, and they don't get up, you know, for some other games. It's kind of how they've been maybe the last couple of years. They played a great game against Duke, beat a really good Duke team last week, and then they. You know, if you came very close to beating Notre Dame, that's fine. But to to hammer on a team for beating a again nice quality ACC team by thirty, that's crap. That's total crap. And, and that's what I'm saying. I'm willing to accept that we didn't yeah. schedule in the ACC Virginia Tech sure. or Clemson. I'm willing to say, okay, that's fine. And you didn't get to play UNC. That, that's all. Yeah, that hurts. That sucks. But what yeah. I'm saying is, is that. When you classify a 30-point win against Pitt as garbage, no, but crap. a five-point win as oh perennial giant slayer, yeah, it's like stupid. you you got to be kidding me. It's I just agree. like you might as well just wear it on a shirt. I agree. So, anyways, that's agree. my that's UCF rant number one of this snippet. But um, no, that's a legit rant. That's actually one of your few definitely legit rants. Yeah, one of my few. Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, I'm a, no, I'm a realist, and I, like I said, I'm okay with twelve in the sense of there's still a, like I said, we got a month and change. They got five games, I believe five games left on their schedule with the AAC championship, provided they obviously make it. Um, they get to play Houston, finally. That's the key, I think. That's what excites me is because that's they're the going to play USF, who may sneak back into the rankings. I doubt it. But if they do, that would be huge. Cincinnati has a chance of maybe sneaking back in the rankings. They play them the 17th. Uh, and then you got Houston, who Ooh. could sneak back in the rankings Ooh. as well. I was actually shocked Houston was not ranked in the top 25. Uh, me too. <laughs> That's one of the things I had written down as well. I, I am surprised that Houston's not getting the love that they have, especially because they do it so well offensively, and that usually gets in people's you know minds because they look think offense more so than defense. So I totally shocked. 
don't know what to say. Everyone's like dismissing this USF win uh, that it really wasn't all that much. I, I again, I've not been the biggest fan of USF. Right, this and we year. both agreed. You know, like, yeah, we how both, is this team we both top all seem to kind of think that. But USF nevertheless, great. they were. They were. You and can't they dismantle them in the second half. Yeah, you can't vote a team in and then be like, oh well, we we they are they aren't what we thought they were. But, That's fine, but they still beat a top twenty five team. Yeah. Those wins are supposed to matter. I, I agree. I agree. And uh, again, Houston. Did not have a very good second half against Texas Tech earlier in the season, and that was a tough loss. They ended up losing going away in that game. But Texas Tech is certainly not a pushover, and uh, and, and they're a, a good enough Big 12 team, certainly. So I don't think that should be held terribly against them. And if this does work out the way I think we, we hope it does, the uh, – oh, the, the, well, the UCF loses to Houston – P or G five's got no shot at it. No, no shot. I'm just talking I mean, about the maybe, quality of the game. I'm mean, just being Fresno, a football fan. That's all I'm Fresno. trying to say right now. Is I think that'll. I'm be just a looking great for game. the from the from the New Year's Six Bowl perspective. Yeah. Well, what would you do then? You would, I guess, if assuming they both win out, I, I guess you would have to probably go with Houston to get that spot in a Why in, not in the Big Bowl. Fresno State or Fresno maybe. I think both these teams are better than Fresno, but I don't know. That's all. I agree with you, but I'm that, saying yeah. Fresno is currently ranked, I believe, 22nd mm. in these in these rankings. You, yeah, you well, have them there. I do. Uh, that's I don't have pass number 12. I stopped at 12, UCF. That's right. You did mention that you didn't care about anything past 12. Uh, Fresno's 23. Yeah, 23. And okay. uh, that is... Houston is NR. That's all there is, is 12 and 23 for the... Uh, for the G5. For the, yeah. And that's not absurd. I mean, like I said, you know, Houston probably may should have sneak, maybe should have snuck in there. but They should be in there. I think they should be in there over NC State. Mm-hmm. Uh, who said two, uh, you know, not great losses. I mean, they got completely owned by Clemson, and they were not in good shape for the great majority of that game against Syracuse. I know they made it kind of closer late, but they were the worst team on that field. So I, I don't personally would not have NC State ranked. I probably wouldn't have, despite Iowa State playing a lot better. I don't think I'd have Iowa State ranked either. But that's my own opinion. What about like Texas A&M, weren't they like a three-loss team? I think they're like 18th, right? They are, but their losses are really strong. They lost to Alabama and Clemson. And, and, and yeah, no, I agree with you. But at what point, because this is also brings me up with UF, uh, the Florida Gators, at mm. what point are losses just that? They're losses. You lose. The thing is, is like in every other sport that has a playoff, when you lose a game, you're done. Right. I mean, Florida doesn't have a realistic chance at playing for their SEC title unless UGA completely shits the bed. So theoretically, and again, obviously that's out the window because Bama won a championship without playing for their title. You, you have, with Bama, LSU, and UGA ahead of you, and now Kentucky, UF should theoretically just not be there. They, they can't leapfrog any of those teams. Unless everybody in front of them loses or something, but that ain't. But again, the, L, the, F, the SEC is so good. I mean, they are. some of them are going to lose. LSU plays Bama. Mm-hmm. UGA plays Kentucky. So mm-hmm. some of them are going to lose. But I'm thinking, UGA, as long as they stay with one conference loss or even two conference losses, they stay ahead of University of Florida. Yes. And if you're telling me these teams are as good as they say they are, even losing to Kentucky... I'm more okay with Kentucky number nine than UF number eleven because theoretically UF should have zero chance of playing for this playoff. But what do you mean by zero chance to play? Aren't we just ranking the teams in one through twenty-five who we think are the best twenty-five teams in this order? I thought we were ranking the teams in terms of deserving to play for a playoff at a national championship. Well, that just happens to be the end, the the end game, the 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 at the end. But I think well, no, because in every other sport, your record determines your rankings. This is the only sport that's arbitrary. So if UF, a team who theoretically has, correct me if I'm wrong, if, if, if you can find this, what their percentage chance of making the playoff is, the University of Florida Gators, and I'm not saying you should throw away their season or anything because they have two losses in conference to two teams that are ahead of them. I'm okay with, I understand why they're ranked based on what the CFP does, but based on Bama, LSU, UGA, and Kentucky, this University of Florida Gators team has zero chance of making, in my opinion, zero chance of making both the SEC championship and the college football playoff. So theoretically, I don't believe they should be there. So where would you have them ranked then? You the thing is, is, I don't think CFP rankings matter past 10. They shouldn't. I mean, we shouldn't even do them. First of all, we shouldn't do them in the preseason, but that's a whole separate argument. I couldn't agree more with that, but I mean, well, I guess we'll just deal with reality since they're, they're happening. I, I, well, I mean, they're a good team. Don't get me wrong. And they're probably on the neutral field equal to or slightly greater than UF, uh, UCF, in my opinion. 
But my point being is, and I'm not liking this only back to UCF. My point being is, is that UCF still has a legitimate shot in the playoff, a la Michigan, UGA, Oklahoma, Washington State, Kentucky, and Ohio State. I, I can't see it. I, I, I don't think... How, how does UF get a path to the... Based on average college football playing, where talent usually prevails, correct? How does UF get to either the SEC championship or the college football playoff? Do you, well, have, the, do you have that percentage? Yeah, it's, it's at point zero one. Thank you. Point zero one. Sure. Well, I mean, UCF's has is, is got to be in the one percentage range. I, I think it's like... That's point, only because of a bias, one, in my yeah, opinion. Pretty much. That's because there will not be any attempt to put them in. Even despite the fact that they're going to play three teams that were at one point or still could be ranked and can play for their AAC title and should still play for a New Year's Six Bowl or a playoff. True, but it's not still the same schedule. So when you play... No, that's fine. What I'm saying is, is that it's not still the same schedule with Michigan, too. Michigan controls their destiny and Ohio State effectively... Effectively, Michigan and Ohio State both control theirs by getting to that crash course of uh, the big game and then winning the Big Ten. If Ohio State right. wins out and wins the Big Ten, they may still be sitting on the outside sure. based on all this. Well, there's no question. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. But they still have a shot. I wish Token didn't leave the room. <laughs> I'd like to know their percentage chance. But who's coming up with these percentages? Like, I don't really care what some arbitrary, quote, percentage is. I, so you I... care less about an arbitrary percentage more than an arbitrary panel of people who work for these, or... work for these universities. I, I also. Don't, I, I'm not trying to think. I'm just coming at this from the perspective of what my beliefs is and what my eye test shows, and I watch I'm probably more football than anybody on that panel. So I'm, that's my only take on what's the Ohio, What's Ohio State's percentage to make it there, Token? <laughs> that's, that's my only opinion is that having watched these teams play, I just that's where I stand. Right, now. UF is a great team, but what you I'm said, saying is, is that these CFP rankings are the college football playoff. If you have a .01% chance of making it, right. and I get it, you know, the dumb and dumber, so you're saying there's a chance. But no, I'm not, that's not my point. I just, I just don't feel like you should exist in the, in the rankings what anymore. What do you mean exist? But I yeah, understand. I know. It's, like... a tough, it's a tough sell, but the thing is I don't want to throw away UF season because they're still a great team, and I guess there is still a .01% chance. I yeah, guess they my, would need a lot of help more so than what they can do themselves. Obviously, they would need some losses. So what they would need is they would need everyone to fall apart, basically, in the SEC, and they would need to win out. And I think a team that wins the SEC championship, whether they have one or two losses, my guess is they'll get in. So if to answer your question... Yes, a team, any team that wins the SEC championship, right. you're right. So that's to, to answer your question. So what I, I don't actually don't agree with the point zero one. Again, I don't know how they come up with this, but I think that's a poor percentage. Because if Alabama comes in with one loss in this, in this uh, SEC championship game, and somehow Georgia falls apart for whatever reason it is, and Florida gets in, and Florida then beats Alabama. Kentucky has to fall apart, too. Exactly. Well, that's okay. I'm not terribly concerned about that. We'll get to them. Yeah. Uh, so that's my only take on it is they have a chance, and they've played, really, I mean, they've had, they've played a very difficult schedule. So I feel like that should count for something if we're trying to come up with these rankings. I know you, all you care about is the top four, and I get it. And maybe no, that's, no, that's not all I care about. Well, that's all the, at the end game. At is. the end game, right? But you have the to fact of the matter is, I'm scared for, somewhere. I'm scared for you. I'm scared for UCF this year because yeah, they be. were more deserving last year, Agreed. and there were less good teams last year. I now agree. they got there's, there's eight studs ahead of them. Totally agree with you. I think I, that's why I think they have basically no chance this year. I'm not trying to be a di- I'm not what, what coming at this from being a you have a, Ohio just, State or UCF's percentage? I'm I'm still looking right now. Okay. Yeah. So that that's that's my only take on. Again, I am an on by I'm I'm a relatively unbiased guy. I mean, there are certain teams I like over others, certainly just because whatever I like team more, but I I don't care about power 5 versus group of 5. I try to see things for what they are. Again, I, I agree with you. I think Houston should absolutely be ranked here, for sure. And I would take Power 5 teams off to put Houston in. But, but I feel like G5 teams are going to be left off because it, like, okay, so UCF plays Houston. Well, okay, at this moment when we're having the debate, hmm. UCF is playing an AAC team. Again, we're assuming all the stars align. Right. An unranked AAC team in the championship game. Right. That should be ranked probably. Well, they will be by that point, I would assume. Maybe. You don't know. Well. There's a chance that they're literally being left off because UCF, they don't want UCF to, to jump. I mean, the thing is, is 
at the end of the day, they can do whatever they want they because sure control, what, what am I? What, what is Twitter going to do? You know, Twitter ain't going to move anything. So, yeah. well, I'm not a fan of the committee either. I mean, I'm I'm echoing pretty much everything you're saying. I don't like the. Committee. And the thing is, everybody's like, well, let's go to eight. Well, okay, eight still keeps UCF out unless you make the eight a criterium. Right. Five P5s, G5 big guy, and two at large or whatever. Yep, you'd have to change the whole system. Yep, that's right. I, I honestly say your rankings shrink, your AP rankings shrink to 1 through 16, your CFP okay. rankings shrink to 1 through 16. I'd be fine with that. It also doesn't exist before the before the season starts. I agree. And We're in agreement all, all, the all CFP points. ranks 16 teams every week, and sure. that's the teams that play in a 16-team playoff. Yeah, I wouldn't want that to happen. But if they, if that's the direction they went, then this thing would be. That, What's your idea? Wide open. What's your idea? Not, 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 not. I'm just curious. I mean, the thing right. is, is, it drives me nuts because this is the only arbitrary, literally the only arbitrary sport in American Correct. sports. Right. Uh, it so is not decided on the field. I, I mean, was against. Is, but, I, mean, I was against the playoff in general. Uh, from the original system, which I know wasn't... I, I'm not saying the original system all oh, was so great. Why would we do this? No, no, no The BCS was essentially a two-team playoff. Now we just have a four-team. It's the same right. thing. It's yeah. close, but I think four teams makes it a little bit better in the sense that you get this sort of jostling and movement at the end of the year, and I do think it's more entertaining, and it gives some teams more of a chance, especially if they've had a loss. Uh, like it was before, you pretty much had to go undefeated, and it was very difficult. So I, I like the four-teamer. What I would probably want to do is expand it maybe to like six and get one and two at a buy or something like that. I, I don't know. I would like to expand it maybe a little bit, but I'm not sure about the whole eight team deal either. And my issue with this is why I don't want it to go to eight versus whatever. It's not arbitrary. It's because then you have to add an extra game to be played. And I don't want to have to take away from the regular season for what the regular season is. There's an well, easy fix to that. Well, if you go from four to six, or four to eight, you're playing the same amount of games and cents. Yeah, you are. Well, no, you're, you're shaving off two games. Well, you're shaving off two games, but you're, you're playing, playing the same amount of rounds. Play, yeah, playing you know. the same amount of rounds. Use these bowl games. Yeah. Or if the season, if the college football season ends January 15th instead of January 8th, is that a big deal? The problem is the bowl games are so. tied to having specific teams there, specific areas of the country there, and that's where the sponsors are exactly tied to. So I feel like you'd have to almost revamp that. I have a feeling that it would not have problems finding sponsors if oh, yeah. if the number 16 and the number one team played versus the Pacific Life Holiday Bowl between who gives a fuck state <laughs> and I don't university. <laughs> As right now, and I you see know what? Ohio State with They it. can add more bowls for the who gives a fuck state and, and I definitely don't give a fuck university to play. They can definitely add more bowls. They have no problem doing that now. I, I, I wouldn't want any anything past probably six or eight, just because it's going to water down the regular season, and, that, see, that's, and that's what makes the regular season so. And awesome. that's fine, and the regular season is fine. But what I'm saying is, is I have a problem in college football, where I had take college basketball, which again is a money maker for NCAA athletics, not to the extent of college football, but it is a money maker, where there are 300 plus teams in college basketball, and every single one of them can play for a national title. I don't think that's the same in college football. But it's not. It can't ever. You cannot compare them evenly because it's football I'm, is just such a different sport than basketball. Basketball can be played easily. You know, back to back days. It's there's no prep. It's 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 totally different. To put them next to each other to me is is foolish. I, I don't think. You but what I'm do saying that. is, you're you're looking at a condensed season. I mean, why are we why are we confined to exactly what? Why are we confined to having the season start in August and end in January? I, I, I the NFL used to end in January. It doesn't end in January now. No, I, I guess there's no constraints in that regard. I, I'm, I don't know about time-wise, but My I point know is, I'm not teams asking... are not going to want to lose home games. That, that's part of the issue. Is they're, they don't want to lose regular season so then games. Then let them host playoff games. 1 through 16. Bama versus who's number 16 right now? Oh, God, I don't know. Utah, maybe? Something. I thought you had it up there. But... I do have it. I mean, it's... Uh, Whoever Iowa. It Iowa. Okay, so Bama versus Iowa from Bryant-Denny Stadium. Yeah, it would be Utah against Clemson. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. We, we could do that. Utah or Bama versus, what would you say? Iowa? Bama versus Iowa from Bryant-Denny Stadium. That'd be interesting, man. you got to shave a game off the regular season at least, then. You can't have these guys playing this many games, either. It's just not... It's not worthwhile for you – know, there's going to be – players are going to stop wanting to play. There's already an issue with not – I know we're getting a whole ball of wax – about not paying players and them being – you know, I, I, this – they're not going to – nobody's going to want to play this many games, and nor should they. 
Well, I'm I'm just discreetly I'm okay with giving back money to the players. Right. Oh, but I at mean, the same I time, giving back seem to be in that camp. Yeah. But. Giving money or giving something to the players. It's the same with the NFL. I'm okay giving the players what they want in terms of the, the dollars that they're requesting. Right. I'm also okay with the NFL going. We're going to 18 games for sure. The NFL, that, again, I don't want to compare like an amateur type of endeavor. Well, we lose amateur status football. if we give them money. Right. I don't care what you say. They lose his amateur status. It becomes a professional league. And I'm okay with that. But my point being is, is once I give you money, you are, I am your boss. The problem now is I am your boss and I give you nothing other than right. education, which I also still believe is, is another good thing for you. I don't believe it's enough. No. In today's world, but I'm also okay with the fact that they do yeah. this. You choose to sign these condo. You can go to. Anyways, that's another that's another conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're still on CFP. No, but my, to, to answer your question, I'd be okay with expanding it to probably six or eight at this point. If you could figure it out sponsor wise and whatever, and make it like set up uh, well, then yes. Uh, but at this point, I don't know what else to do. Uh, I to, still think six or eighteen. The thing is, is I'm okay with it being six or eight teams, but I also believe teams like UCF, Fresno State, Boise State. TCU back in the day, uh, Houston, Utah. Deserve, Utah. Well, back in the day, they're not anymore. They're in a big. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Utah. The, they were the best team I've ever seen. And the problem is, everybody's like, join a conference, join a conference, join a conference. Well, that's fine. I'm pretty sure UCF is not the one saying we don't want to join a Power right. Five conference. Right. It's it's the Power Five conference saying right. we don't want to share revenue with you fuckers. Oh, yeah. So you, it's the argument of saying play somebody, join a conference. Well, as far as I know. Based on anything I read with, you know, P5, UCF. It's hard to schedule. Um, hey, we're picking up the phone. It's the other side that's not picking up the phone. Because, again, we had this conversation last time I think we talked. If Alabama plays UCF, if they beat them, great. You're supposed right. to beat them. Oh, yeah, for sure. If UCF beats Alabama, holy shit. It's not good for you. Right. Might I remind you, UCF is 1-0 all time against the Alabama Crimson Tide. Just, just throwing a little nugget of nugget of, of information out there for you. Mm, fantastic. All right, let's. Thank let's, you for that. I don't want to spend everything just on UCF because that's not fair to people who are listening and actually trying to, yeah. to learn from us nimbwits. But let's talk about the five through eight. And you got Michigan, you got UGA, you got Oklahoma, you got Washington State. I'm happy to see Washington State in there because they actually, if I take out my fandom of UCF, they're actually the most fun team. Of yeah. the top ten, and I'm actually yeah. rooting for them to sneak in there as well, even though I believe the Pac-12 is probably going to be the fifth or the the, the team of the P5, that's, the conference is going to be shut out. Yeah, right now they have a 1% shot of making it. Mm. At, at eight, they have a 1% shot. Yeah. That's the thing. I mean, it's so arbitrary in the sense of if they went out, they still have to play Washington, mm-hmm. they still have to play the winner of the Pac-12 South, which is either Utah or USC, looking more like Utah right now. Oh, yeah. Utes. Mm-hmm. There's still two pretty good ones. I mean, that's what I'm saying. And I, and I hate to be like, you know, when you need four, you need six. When you, need, when you have six, you need eight. When you have eight, you need 12. But you really, you really just need more than four, especially in a year like this where I honestly believe, with the exception of Kentucky and the University of Florida, there are ten teams that – should play for a national championship right here. At least the ones that I'm looking at. I agree. It's a tough year. Yeah. Again, I'm only on one, I only have one through 12. This is a tough yeah, year. And again, there's going to be more clear-cut years. And again, make no mistake about it, Bama is head and shoulders above the other nine teams. I 100%. They, they are, but they have the second biggest percentage to make the playoff because they're scheduled at the... Clemson's got to be number one. Clemson's number oh, one. Yeah, they don't have anybody left. Yeah, they have a 93% mm-hmm. shot of making the playoffs. Best, that would make sense. Okay. Their, best, their best opponent remaining would be in the Coastal, and it could be Boston College. Yeah, they travel to Boston College. Yeah. That, that won't be easy. They wouldn't travel to Boston College. They'd be in North Carolina. What? No, they still have to play Boston College. Right. Oh, the regular uh, season. It's at, it's at Boston College? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, all right. It's a night game, I believe, yeah. But you know what? I'm a believer of Clemson after I watched them throttle Florida State. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it doesn't look good for BC. I agree. I was I was on the BC wagon for a but while. But again, Clemson's had they can a couple of years where they do. They just fall to a team like sure. Pittsburgh, sure. you know, yeah, and yeah, like yeah. Syracuse. That's right. So Boston College could be that team this Hopefully. year. Hopefully, that's why no team's 100. Mm-hmm. percent Notre Dame, I believe, of the 10 teams, in my opinion, again, I'm I'm taking out Kentucky. I'm taking out UF. You agree with me on Kentucky, correct? Yes. Oh, I think they're the well, either the worst or the second worst of these teams. It's it's either Kentucky or it's who you're talking about right now. Yeah, the, Notre Dame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Notre Dame is here. the biggest fraud. I totally agree. And if you had to guess the percentage to make it, it'd be it's probably pretty high. Seventy-five. Right? That's not too, not too far off. 
60. Right in between, 66. Okay. So what's left on their schedule that can beat them? The USC? At Northwestern this week. Another tough one. How, Fighting Fitzgeralds. How about yeah. Syracuse in the Bronx at Yankee Stadium? Well, that's not Can that not be one. a game? I feel like that could be a game. I feel like that could be a game. Yeah. They could run with them. Absolutely. And at, US, at USC, as you said, USC, again, they're having some injury issues. and They still have a that's 19-year-old quarterback. But I don't know. USC, I don't know, on the road. That feels Never like know. it could be. I think they'll beat Florida State at home. That would be my guess. That's the other game they have. Yeah. I feel like that one's going to be okay. But those other three, I don't know. And who do they have? And where are these wins coming from? Where, where, where are the wins? Vatek, what, has four losses now, at mm-hmm. least including the Old yeah. Dominion? And their big win this year was against Florida State, who we've all who seen. we know is not a big win. Yeah, exactly. So I don't care about the win at Vatek. Who also lost to Old Dominion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Barely beating Pitt at home. That's, not, that's, a, that's a blemish, in my opinion. Yeah, Navy's having a down year. And, and they beat Navy handily, but who cares? You know, in San Diego, like, I, I don't care. Props to you for getting that cover of 24, by the way. But I'm only losing by 22. Yeah, yeah. well done. I followed along with that one, too. <laughs> Me, too. <laughs> well done. But um, Stanford. I, 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 again, Stanford's had Bryce Love uh, uh, injuries this whole year. They're not the same defensive team they have been. I'm not enthused about that win at home. Uh, yeah, Stanford's not a thing. I think they have three losses this year, too, correct? Yeah, at, le- at least. Yeah. At least three losses. I mean, and almost lost to San Diego State in the opener. That's right. Opener or second game. That's right. Uh, Wake Forest. They barely beat Vanderbilt. They barely beat Ball State. That game was tied in the third quarter. Mm-hmm. And what are we doing here? I mean, Notre it's Dame the Michigan is, win. That's it. That the is Michigan win. Yeah. Very it's, strong. And yeah. That's fine. But we clearly can also see that Michigan, I think, is playing a lot better now than they did in week one. Yeah, which yes. which yeah. tells so, me Michigan yeah. probably could have beat them playing today. The way our, yeah, yes. oh, 100% agree. Yep. So I, I, I think Notre Dame is a complete fraud. 100%. I agree. But they're Notre Dame. Yeah, they're going to get voted. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. It's going to happen. It really is. Yeah, uh, it is. Yeah. You know, I, I I don't know if it's me or if it's just you, but I feel like the ball washing of the P5 is, and again, Notre Dame's independent, but I, I roped them in. It's come, you're 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 coming back towards like a middle ground for me. I was never about to be this. I was I, never I, I'm, a P5 I'm actually rooting ball for this week LSU to be Alabama, and that drops Notre Dame out of the discussion. Mm, would it though? Wouldn't they? Well, they it, it, it it would make them maybe four or five. But the thing is, okay, look at this one. Six versus nine, UGA and Kentucky. If UGA smacks Kentucky around, yeah, there you go. are they? I mean, could you really say Wait. three SEC teams out of four? No. They're not going to do it for purposes of, of dilution. Yeah. They should, though. Delusion and dilution. But if you're talking about the best four teams, how do you do that? I mean, I if know. you believe UGA is the best four team, you can't just be like, oh, we can't have three SEC teams. This sure you can. You <laughs> cannot make it so arbitrary. <laughs> they want. Sure you can. Then let's just have the SEC playoff, the CFP SEC rankings. <laughs> it's a good conference. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate it. I just don't like how it's <sighs> – it's tough. It is a great conference. The SEC West. They're very top. They're very top heavy, just like the Big Ten this year. But every conference is so way. top heavy, and that's the thing. No, I don't think I don't think the ACC is. I disagree. I think the ACC is more middle heavy. Yeah, than top. that's fair. But I mean, like these these things, like the ACC. <laughs> well, the ACC has been top heavy in the past. You've had Florida oh, yeah. State, Virginia Tech, Miami, Agreed. Clemson, all be good. Yep. What I'm saying is, when that happens, you're still playing doormats in your conference that would lose that do lose to power uh, G5 conference teams. No question. Yeah, yeah. I don't know so why it's, you keep thinking I'm a, I'm a no, power five ball washer. I'm, right? I'm having dialogue. You are. I, I'm having dialogue. How am I? I don't, I, don't, I don't agree with this. I completely disagree with that sentiment. I am not. I'm an unbiased dude that watches the games. That is what I do. How, how have I been, I've been talking up Houston since week three. That's, that's a non-power five team. I, I believe UCF was unfairly ranked last year. I thought they were a better team than they were ranked. I said that too. And that's the thing. I, and that, like I said, that goes back to my situation. Yeah. UCF, with the strength of schedule, their actual talent on the field, yeah. the fact that they've played one game without Milton, the fact that they needed one game to come back against Memphis, they this is clearly an indication of what they've done over the last twenty games, no not question. what they've done over the last uh, 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 eight or whatever. I agree. Doesn't make any sense. But yeah, uh, but getting back to Notre Dame, I, I think that no matter what happens with all the jostling of all the other teams. If they go twelve and zero, I, I, I just I think they're going to get they're going to get in. Again, I wouldn't vote them. I I would not vote uh, for them unless things you know go really awry. I don't know, but I guess we don't know what will happen. Unless if they just blow every team out of the water, guess, the rest yeah. of the way, but yeah. and, and then maybe you have everybody else lose at least a game. I, I guess you really couldn't vote them and vote against them, but I I don't know. To, right now, at this point, I don't see it. And of the I, initial I, rankings, they are worse. 
In my opinion, they're number eight, they're number seven. I was about to say maybe number six or seven. And I don't and I'm and I just on face value, one, two, three, Bama, Clemson, LSU, Michigan, UGA, Oklahoma, Notre Dame. And again, I will say that Ohio State is probably on paper the better team than Notre Dame, but you got that twenty nine point loss. It is what it is, dude. You you cannot get away from it. That's the twenty nine point loss to Iowa last year is what kept Ohio State out. Sure. Mm-hmm. So and I do you believe that that's what's going to keep them out again? Yeah. Even if they beat Michigan, and even if they beat uh, who would that be on this side right now? If if it ended today, is it Iowa again? Yeah, depending on what Northwestern does as well. Uh, I'm just saying right now, is it Iowa? Yes. Okay. So you would have Michigan a win against Michigan, a win against Iowa, and do they have anything left? Yeah, Michigan State uh, next week. So they okay. have Nebraska this week. Is Michigan State in the in the in the rankings? I don't no. believe so. No, no, they're out. Yeah. Okay, just curious. Cause... Yeah. And they also have per uh, not Purdue. They have uh, Minnesota, not Minnesota. They have another poor team, Maryland. They have Maryland. Maryland too. left. So that's out. their four games left. Uh, Michigan's at home. Michigan State's on the road. Uh, Ma- 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 Maryland, Maryland might be able to produce an upset. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean Maryland has has, has looked. Uh, yeah, I mean going. I, mean, I don't know what's going on now, but Maryland has certainly not been as much of a doormat as we expected this year. But uh, I think that is going to be be a big thing. Losing by that many points to Purdue, they're going to have to win big the rest of the way and probably get a little bit of lucky with some some jostling near the top. I just can't see it. I think they're a better team than Notre Dame. I think that Florida's a better team. I think Penn State's better. I think Utah's better. I think Iowa's better. I think there's a lot of teams that are better than Notre Dame. I'd have them ranked like 15. But, again, I'm kind of a crazy person. And I don't I think just, you're that crazy. Yeah. I, I'm just looking at the top 12 right now. Okay, you, let me, would yeah. UCF beat Notre Dame? Neutral field? Be a damn good game. I don't know. I, I'm, that's worried, all I, that's I'm all. worried about UCF's defense in that game. I, I don't know. But, I, I mean, what, what's the spread going to be? What am I missing points, with everybody's hatred, hatred for UCF's defense? It's not good. I, I mean, they're like 90th in rushing defense? I don't know. No. Well, great. that's because they went up against freaking Daryl Henderson. The guy is a Mr. First Down. What? But their defense isn't far off from what it was last year. I don't know if you it's remember the last few off. games of last year. They were giving up 60 points a game. Yeah, last, the last few were, were rough. But, I mean, the first eight games, though, they were not giving up very many points. You're, you're correct. They weren't. But according to CFP, they weren't playing anybody. So, anyways. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think they're significantly worse on defense this year. That's, that's, that's what do we? Issue. What do we and do? they lost a coach. They lost a really good head coach. Yeah. That means something. And the train crept rolling. That's the most beautiful thing about it. I mean, they lost Scott Frost, who is great, and they brought in a guy who had never been a head coach, who was also an offensive mind, who actually didn't change the playbook, which was yeah. actually surprising to me because that's what made me really nervous. Is something. I don't have a problem with Heupel, but the fact is he may change the playbook into his own style, and that could throw off everything with this team. But he didn't. Yeah. He, he may do it when Milton moves on. They're right, giving maybe. up 183 yards a game on the ground. It's 91st in college football. What's their pass defense? I think much better. What's their scoring defense? Scoring defense. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's do pass defense first. You're throwing. You're throwing a lot out there. I like I'm it. really scoring defense is really the be all end all in college football. They're 47th in pass defense. Okay, uh, pretty good. And their average again, like per pass, is actually better than 47th. So I think when teams are throwing against them, they've done a lot better. Uh, I think I think Memphis has the most on them at thirty. Mm-hmm. Scoring defense, you, yeah. I mean, FAU got like twenty. They're giving up. Uh, I'm doing quick math here. If it's in the twenties, I'm 18 okay. Eighteen and change a game, probably probably closer to eighteen and a half. Again, I don't have it in front of me, and I'm just doing the quick math with the, the numbers. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But eighteen and a half per se in college football, in my opinion, that matters the most. Okay. Because I mean, I don't, I don't want you to go deep diving, but I mean, I could tell you other than, ooh, I was close, eighteen point one. I got the official number. Nice, yeah, Alabama and LSU. I could look up the rest of these. Well, Clemson maybe too. You could look up the rest of these scoring defenses and total defense. Michigan is another good one. Mm-hmm. But I believe that oh, a UCF would be pretty close to on par with those teams. Yeah, scoring defense. Right, but but who, who again? Who, who have they played? So we we don't have a lot of actual high quality. Teams other than Notre play. Dame, who has Michigan played? Well, they've played a Big Ten schedule. I mean, that's so when you're playing. When we you're played playing, the Big Ten last year. We crushed Maryland. That was before <laughs> dude died. Fair enough. So if I'm ever going to be deemed a P5 ball washer, right. it would be the fact that the teams that are in the Power Five are going to be playing harder schedules week in and week out, and I feel like that has an influence. I disagree. In week in and week out, I believe they play harder. They play a harder three to four game schedule in their in their year. 
Michigan will play Notre Dame, Ohio State, maybe Ohio State again. Michigan State? They're going to play Penn State? That's all on the same side. I'm aware. I'm saying, but the thing that's, is, is... That's legit. That's as legit as it gets. But is they also get to play Illinois, which would get beat by UCF. They also get to play uh, Maryland, who got beat by UCF. They also get to play Rutgers, who would mm-hmm. get beat by maybe actually half of the American Conference at this point. Beat by probably 100 teams in yeah. the FBS, yeah, at least. So, yes, a four- or five-game slate, which I wish UCF could get. And if they didn't right. run the table, then, then you know, they didn't run the table. Yeah. But I wish UCF, or I wish a team Fresno, I mean, I'm not rooting for Fresno over UCF, but I wish a team, <laughs> I wish they could get that scheduling. Not only would it be good for the program, it would be good. Well, good for yeah, it'd be, oh, it'd be so much fun. It'd be good for recruits. It'd be good for the fans. Yeah. No, I'm of course we all agree with that. We'd love to see uh, the you know these big power five. But the thing is, the old guards like, well, we're not going to schedule this team. Yeah. It, it, it's too much risk. We'll schedule the Citadel. Yeah. We'll I, schedule Mercer. I would do the same thing if I ran one of those programs because it's just again, you don't as you said, you don't get a lot on the back end if you win these games, and you can lose so much. And I, they, I think a lot of teams have fear to play t- uh, play a team like UCF. But they don't. So they don't fear. advertise it as fear. They advertise no. it as, as oh, like we would. Below, we would, you're below us, right? Yeah, you're below us. We right. would. We would wipe the floor with you. And that's right. the fans. Oh, we'd wipe the floor. I, I, you know what? And I will yeah. be. I will say this right now. UCF would probably get beat by 24 plus points yeah. by Alabama. I will say this right now. If they play on neutral field, yeah, but they could compete with a lot of other very good power fighters. All we're asking is for the chance to get beat by twenty-five points. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. The the New York Giants beat these eighteen and zero New England Patriots. Probably lose that game in a ten game. If you played that game ten times, they'd probably lose it nine times. It was competitive in Week Seventeen, though. That year, no, I know competitive game. My point for good. uh, Professional football is a little different, but okay. Boise State and Oklahoma. You know TCU. Probably lose that game nine times, but they played the game and they won, and forever oh, and yeah, more. for sure, for sure. Yeah. So that's all. It's, that's all I the agree. thing is. Is you know, it's it's just a kind of a. It's unfortunate the way it's set up. You're right. Yep. It's true. So, but uh, damn, a snippet turned into 41 minutes. <laughs> well, longest snippet ever. It might be. This might actually be an episode. <laughs> it's interesting though, because a lot of this is. I mean, these are good topics that we're talking about because it really does change the whole landscape of of what all of this is. What's Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Seven. They are seventh, and their percentage is 33. 33? 33. Yep. So because nobody in... They r- right between Michigan and Ohio State. They don't cross paths with anybody in front of them. I mean, playing-wise on the field. They have mm. a Big 12 against... Big 12 championship would be right now against Texas? Yeah, rematch. And who is ranked where right now? Because they're not in the top 12. Obviously. Yeah, we know that. That's all I have. Based, <laughs> based on my sheet. They, they, they are 17. 17 and with <laughs> less than 1% shot of making the I mean, look up. how far they fell from 6 to 17 from an Oklahoma State loss. Yeah. Well, they have two losses now. Well, the Maryland one, the Maryland one hurts. That hurts. That's, oh, the biggest, yeah. that's the biggest hurt, yeah. But they were six. Just It was all good. Like, uh, what was that? I forget what rapper that is. It was all good just a week ago. Not anymore. Again, I've been I've been stressing this as well. I think Oklahoma is the best team in the Big Twelve. I'm well, yeah, confident. by far, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So they, just, they, have, they had a bad day. Yeah, they have Texas Tech, Oklahoma State, and that's State, the thing. KU Teams have Texas. bad days. Ohio State had a bad day. Are they a bad right. team? No, no, yeah. But they're virtually. What'd you say? Ohio State is. They're twenty four percent of. Ooh, wow, that's actually higher than way higher yeah. than I thought. Yeah, it is. And I, Michigan I, I, is what? Thirty six. Well, that's about where I thought. I thought Ohio State would be in the. Tens to teens. LSU's the last team with more than ten percent, or actually more than five percent shot of making, and that's thirteen percent. Hmm. It's because they have to play Bama, yeah. and then we assume with two losses that they're. We assume they're, they're not playing in the title game. That makes yeah. sense. I didn't think about it that way. Yeah. 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 LSU's not going to play in the title game if they lose to Bama. This yeah. is their. So this, this is, is their Super Bowl. This is it right yeah. here. Super Bowl. Do or die for them, man. Yeah, it's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's their Super Bowl. They probably are one of the best four teams, and they have a what you said. 13% shot of making. That even seems high. Yeah. Based on what we know now, or what we just... Yeah, you know, what, what's their money line in this game? <laughs> As a 14-point underdog. What is their money line plus, in this game? Let's get some crack research on this shit. 600-ish? I don't think that. What are they? 14-point favorite? 14-point yeah. dogs? I just figured that there's going to be a lot of money line I, 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 I'll right, say right. 450. I think we almost have to throw out the regular money line trends with uh, with. I think spreads. we have to. I think we have to sprinkle collectively on the money line here. Whatever, it is. <laughs> twenty bucks, twenty bucks each, sixty dollar money line. 
<laughs> oh, a podcast money line podcast, wager. Podcast wager. Nice. Bomb game. The- <laughs> we, throw, we throw Spike on I'm it. A DJ. Always, I'm a DJ. We throw Spike on it, too, for an $80 bet. Spike will get upset because it's, it's a college football bet, but that's fine. He likes Bring the punters. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he, he did say in our last NFL podcast that he would lean towards uh, betting college football now. All right, I got it here. Uh, minus 700. That's the Alabama. Yes, yeah. LSU plus five. I said four fifty. So okay, yeah. what's That's that? Why uh, Vegas Insider. Yeah, I'm just taking the collective well, same, average. Same, same on William Hill. Uh, That's cool. F- Fourteen and a half is the current spread. Taking a collective average. So <laughs> if Kentucky beats UGA. Where do you see them moving ahead of Oklahoma Ooh. and Washington State? Because that's always the big thing. Is I would like, think you have to, yeah. That's always the big thing is, does an Oklahoma team get to slide up, or does a Kentucky team get to bounce? And like you said I earlier, think who the fuck, how the fuck you know? And, and are we ranking Georgia a, a lot based on last year? I think there's a lot of that in that number six ranking. I, I haven't seen a, a great Georgia team this year. I don't know about anybody else. They played I, well on Saturday. They did, but... Uh, they played really well on Saturday. I I, I really hope Kentucky Against pulls the team, off another the team, UF. I mean, you're, you're like you said... Yeah. They have virtually zero shot, but they're a good team. Yeah. This is why I say, I mean, 16 teams all the way down to, give me 13 through 16. All right. West Virginia, Penn State, Utah, and Iowa. Hmm. All teams, I believe, that on any given day, again, with the exception of Bama, I believe head and shoulders, I believe the 16 teams to the left could win a national title. And I would not have a problem with it if they all got a chance to play it on the field. And again, not every year there's going to be 16 teams that are deserving. But in those years where there are head and shoulders teams, you at least have a shot. But 16 Iowa, if they're not really deserving, let's just use them because they're here now. If 16 Iowa isn't deserving this year because they're not as good, then then number one Bama will just wipe the floor with them. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I think 16, and again, once we get 16, you're going to say 24. No, I think 16. No, I think 16 is the right number. Because who's 17, 18, 19? They've got to be somebody in there with three losses. Texas, Mississippi State, and Syracuse. I don't believe any of them are, are national championship contenders this no, year. And again, that I, can change every year. But I, I would say even Texas is... Give me 2020. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can see your face. Texas A&M, NC State, Boston I believe Cows. this is a... a and I, and I don't believe Iowa is a really just a legitimate national title contender, but right. if they beat Michigan, because they play Michigan this year? No, they don't play Michigan this year. But they may play them in the title game. They could play them in the title game. If yeah. they beat, if they beat uh, Michigan or Ohio State, whoever believes, they, I mean, they have just as much right to have a shot. If you're giving Ohio State so much love, the fact that Ohio State jumped UCF on both of their bye weeks, I mean, it's, it's, it's strictly arbitrary. I mean, I think if we had a 16-measure system and we gave it to them, Play it on the field, man. Play it on the fucking field. Creates so much more revenue for college football. It creates so much more interest. I just, I hate the, I hate the feeling. And I'm sure that being a UCF fan, I'm not the only one in this because I'm sure Kentucky fans are going to feel like that this year too. Because how? When was the last time Kentucky football was good? It was amazing. Uh, and they have uh, virtually zero shot of play. Can, U- University of Florida football hasn't been good in a decade, mm-hmm. and they have zero shot of playing. LSU football with Ed Orgeron, they haven't been championship contender worthy in a few years, and they virtually have zero shot of playing for a national. They got to win this game. They have yeah. to. Yeah, otherwise they're out. And I and I don't want to use a, a childish term. This is so unfair, and because I, I get it, life's not fair. But you're ra- you're basically eliminating LSU in week. What are we nine? Mm-hmm. Ten, whatever we're in, oh, yeah. you're eliminating yeah. LSU this week if they lose. They have this, their Super Bowls in Week Ten. Yeah, you're. Uh, no, I, I, mean, you're I, I like good. the idea of the 16 team, but you, you go in order one, two, three. Let them choose who they want to play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that was that hollow oh. hockey playoffs. Yeah, I, I, I like that idea. Though. We never checked back on that. I wish we would have. What were they going to do with hockey? There was a very like small. It was like the Southern. Southern, Southern Hockey League, SHL yeah. or something like that. Basically what they did, they had an eight-team playoff. The eight teams of their league made the playoff. Number one got to choose who they One wanted. got to choose of the five, six, seven, and eight mm. who they wanted to is play. Is this the United States Hockey League? It's, it's, it's a U.S. Hockey League. Got yeah. It. yeah. Hmm. But uh, one, you got to choose between five, six, seven, and eight. Two got the remain, got a pick of the remainder. Three got a pick of the remainder. And four got the rest. Got the scrap, yeah. That's fun. So I, I didn't check back to see how that would how that ended up, but... Anywho, this is professional hockey. We're talking about? 
It's a professional hockey league, yes, but it's not anything. You know, it's not the NHL sure. or anything, obviously. But one yeah. of those was Oklahoma City, yeah, yeah, like below, semi-pro uh, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, step below like the CHL, AHL stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, got it. It's a step below uh, junior hockey. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, point being is, is that you know, it just it's just a it's it's a tough feeling. One in the beginning of the season with 130 college football teams, knowing that only five have a realistic shot, and it's whoever wins the P5 conferences. Yeah. And it's got to be another feeling, knowing now when we look at this. I mean, the thing, the revelations we're coming out with, Notre Dame's a fraud. <laughs> LSU has their Super Bowl now. Because, like you said, if they lose to Bama, they're done. They're two yeah. losses. They're yeah. not playing in the title game. And, I mean, you have Michigan, who has a couple of good wins. Uh, you, you don't believe in UGA. I mean, I can agree with everything you said until this Saturday. I don't believe UGA. I believe UGA is a fraud at six until, but you're higher on UF than I am. So being higher on UF, UGA we should sit where. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm uh, not saying I'm higher per se. I, I would have Florida ranked higher. I'm not saying I, I know. I'm just to, to dismiss them. Like we were having this weird discussion about whether you think they're capable of being in the playoffs or where you would have them ranked. And you're like, well, I don't care about the rankings because it's just top four. Well, I, I just I, I would have Georgia ranked higher than Florida. I just don't know if I'd be moving Florida per se. I'd probably have Georgia moved down, and I would likely have, I don't know, I'd have Oklahoma certainly ranked higher than them. Uh, I'd have. But the ranking system, like I said, and I'm not saying it's, I only care about the four. I just feel like after six, it's so arbitrary because yeah, we're sure. not, if we were playing 16-team playoff, these, 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 where they're sitting would matter because it's seeding. Of course. Obviously, but yeah. now it's like UF at 11, okay, great, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't matter. Right. It they actually have, doesn't really matter. They have great. virtually zero shot. It's fun to win UCF to matters more be, at 12 than UF matters at 11. That is true. You know what I'm saying? That's that the kind true. of the, the, the argument I'm trying to Fair put. enough. That's fine. Yeah, and I, and I don't disagree with that. I mean, that's true. So. But if UCF can't get it, I'm rooting for Wazoo to sneak in there somehow. That would be a lot of fun. I think. Can you imagine? The, yeah. Mike Leach. <laughs> He's perfect. Yeah. Just to infiltrate himself in something so like grand and official, and he'll make some sort of pirate reference, and it'll be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like Mike Leach a lot. So. Speaking of, did you see Mike Gundy and his Twitter reference? No, what did he do? It wasn't anything great. It was just kind of classic Gundy. He was basically like, somebody was asking him about uh, what another guy was saying on Twitter about his one of his players, and he was like, I can yeah. give a rat's ass about Twitter, and he just goes, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and he makes like a fart raspberry. I like Mike Gundy a lot too. Yeah, he's good people. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of these these teams that are uh, we're not really seeing as much this year too. Like Oklahoma uh, uh, State is having a down year, and as you said, having Michigan State is uh, is not really there where we want them to be. So, and um, Michigan State has four losses, don't they? Uh, they have three. They have three. ASU, yeah. Michigan, Northwestern. Yeah, they have three. Okay. Because I have an under nine for the season wins, so I need one more. It's either going to be. This week, they're a small dog to Maryland. Didn't or, they lose to Penn State, too? Or Ohio State. Or, or Ohio State next week. They lost to Penn State, too, didn't they? Or they, don't play, they haven't played them yet? They... Penn State. Penn Maybe State. they played them at the... They must play them later, yeah. I could have sworn they played. Or did they? Penn State, Michigan State? I'm trying to remember all that. They only have three losses. Crack think. research is getting on it right now. I mean, yeah, I can get there at some point. If, uh, but anyways, I'm I mean, pretty sure it's there. They're not in the pl- they're not in the rankings. No, they are definitely. They have no. They're chance. definitely arbitrary. Definitely zero chance, and they don't. They shouldn't have. It's one of those. Well, you could argue for them. No, you can't. You definitely no, no, can't. Not it's not, no, 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 not after what we've yes. seen of Arizona State. Like if Arizona State was ranked, yeah. you know, and Northwestern is Northwestern ranked? I don't think so. No. Yeah. They have too many. Well, they lost to Akron at home. That's just going to be tough. So. Yeah. <laughs> to get past. <laughs> Michigan State and Penn State haven't played yet. Yeah, they beat them uh, late. Remember the, yeah. the missed field goal? Yeah. And they uh, they they beat Penn State. Yeah. Yeah. That that, that, oh. that that was three weeks ago. Yeah. yeah you're right. You're right. Because I had the over in that game. What are their losses, uh, Token? Uh, three. They lost to uh, Arizona State, Michigan State, or Michigan and Northwestern. Right? Yep. There you Correct. go. Hmm, it's crazy. I'm yeah, they have them one they, more. They have Maryland, Ohio State, Nebraska, and Rutgers. So you got one shot. <laughs> no two. Uh, two. Mar- Maryland's They're a like legit three point, contender. Uh, favorites only at Maryland this week. I think it's home. Got root- yeah. I'm rooting for you. I mean, I'm rooting for you to lose to, for for you to win your I bet. Appreciate that. Thank you. I'm rooting for them to lose for you to win. I appreciate it. Uh, yep. And no, no, it's at Maryland, but. Three point. I, I don't know. I think they're going to win the game because Maryland's kind of in this weird upheaval, but we won't get into that. So, yeah. 
They should lose to Ohio State, though. Ohio State will probably play a lot better. Or they'll beat them by 20. Is it on the, is it, where is it at? It's at home for Michigan State. Ooh, you never know. <laughs> I know, as I'm saying. I know, I'll, 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 I'm oh, no. Michigan State didn't even prove themselves against Michigan at home. So well, Michigan's a good team. Michigan's a good team, but Ohio okay. State, I think, is Michigan better. has not. What? I didn't hear what he said. He said Ohio State's better than Michigan. I, I would I lean agree. towards Ohio State being a better team. I agree, too. That, yeah. I just feel like right now, as on resumes face value, Ohio- Michigan did not lose uh, by 30 uh, uh, points to a I'm team. I'm taking the-, the whole year in consideration. Me too. What are you taking? The Penn State game? That's the only game of Ohio State's that I can be impressed by. I mean, early Great, they in the beat year. Oregon State 77 to 31. So, what do you give more credit now because Oregon State beat Colorado? No, oh, I think just Michigan's overrated. I think they had a great comeback against. Against uh, Penn State, and that's about it for me. I'm not saying they're a bad team. I'm just saying I would. You put them on a field right now. I think Michigan would beat Ohio State. I don't agree. I would take Ohio State in that game, especially after this. I think after where's the game this year? It's at Ohio State. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that bet. Obviously, it's never gonna be on neutral field. But I've been impressed. What do you think that line is? What do you think that line is? Pick. Come on. No. Of course Ohio State's going to be favored. Home I, would, I would say... They've won the last like nine in a row, at least. I would say two. Ohio State's favored by two. Six. You don't think they're going to set a line to trap you into taking Harbaugh? I don't know what... I think they're going to set a line to try to get equal action, and I think that line will be probably three, three and a half, but I think it should be six. I think, realistically, it would be two. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll take Michigan plus whatever. Two. <laughs> no, whatever it, whatever it comes Plus a half. <laughs> plus a hook. No, I'll take Michigan. I'll tell you what. I'll take Michigan plus the points for 10, whatever the opening line comes out when we get there. Okay. And I'll take Michigan money line for five at whatever. you got to pay me whatever the. I, I would like the closing line, actually. I think everybody's going to be over Michigan in this. Mm. I Why think you think I said the be... opening line, asshole? <laughs> I know. All right, whatever. Best so off. you think the money will come on Michigan? Oh, I, I think so, yeah. Think okay. Well, if it opens up at a six, like Michigan, said, Michigan's you know. one of those big teams that draws a lot of action. So, but what if Michigan, when Michigan loses to Penn State this week, then what is the, then the, that line then, can then be it like? Doesn't seven. Matter. Oh, that doesn't, doesn't matter. Okay, then, the, then our bets will just be not because the game isn't as. Meaningful. But the thing is, okay, so if Michigan loses to Penn State, yes. And then Michigan and Ohio State are nine and ten, effectively at this point. That you can rule out the Big Ten at that point. Well, I think Ohio State will move up if they win these next three weeks. Yeah, but I'm saying I think you can rule out the Big Ten of the in the Final Four. Yeah, yeah probably right. You should, yeah. But yeah. it's crazy to think in a P5 because now you're looking at situations where. You're pissing off P5 conferences. Oh, the ball washers. They're not happy. I'm just saying, if you're if you're any if anybody is pining for expansion of this, you have to have it to where P5 team P5 conferences are getting shut out. Multiple P5 conferences. Right. They all get an automatic kind of in per se if you have more teams allowed. Yeah, that's true. Well, say Michigan loses and Clemson loses, you have oh, you would have the ACC out. You would have the Big Ten out. You would have two SEC teams. I'm not sure the ACC would be out. If Clemson then recovers and wins the rest of their games, they're going to be a one-loss team that has the name of Clemson there, which means something to these idiots that are voting for this stuff. So I Well, I if, Mich- if Clemson loses and Notre Dame... Yeah, okay, if Clemson loses... If, and no matter what, you're going to have one-loss teams in this thing. Of course, yes. I agreed. Except for UCF could be undefeated. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Rant three. Oh, well, okay, here's the situation. and I, Here's rant three. If you're not going to schedule yes. them, you've got to respect the undefeated. Oh, yes. I won't schedule them, but their undefeated means shit. Yeah. It's a catch-22. Yeah. And, again, I know you're not disagreeing with me, because you, you. but I'm just saying, like, I don't know. Is Fresno, Fresno's not undefeated. Fresno no. lost to Minnesota. That's correct. Yeah. That should have some meaning, by the way, too. Yeah. That should. Minnesota's not all that great. Right. They're nice. Yeah, I mean, they're, a, game against, they're a team that yeah. beats. But the game against North Carolina getting canceled hurts, even though it is only it North Carolina. But it was going to be on the road. Yeah. Yeah. They haven't really played in any tough road spots either. I think that's been some of the arguments for other people that have ranked them lower, especially in the AP poll, is that they haven't. Because well, they're going to host more than likely. Yeah. They're, well, Houston's undefeated in the uh, – 
conference. In conference, that's right. Mm-hmm. So who would host that? The higher ranked team, I believe, hosts that. That would be important. Well, Houston's never going to get to twelve. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, that, that's going to be an important so having the that, home game. You're, you're yeah. saying having the home games, right? That's, that's what I'm saying. That's important. Yeah. But I just don't know what tough road games are they going to have. Is uh, where's the UCF uh, USF? Well, this year, no. This year it's in Tampa. Okay, that's that's not. It's, it's sixty miles away. I mean, it's not nothing. Ideal, yeah. Nothing crazy. I mean, it's a big stadium too. It's not. I don't know. I just. It's going to be tough. I just think it's going to be unfortunate. But even though they talk about being only in the year, they're not. Right. So I mean, I think you got to take going to Atlanta and beating Auburn, which is in Auburn's backyard, Atlanta, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And yeah. having being an attendee at that game, their attendance for as close as they were was very piss poor. Yeah. I don't care who you are. You you know, if you're two hours away from your team playing in a New Year's Six Bowl, you should go. You be there. Was it more of a corporate feel, or was it just an actually pro? Not on our side. Thing? Not on our side. Our side was full. Well, no, I mean, but just the gen- all general what you could make of it being there and just seeing er- everyone. Was it was fans, but it okay. was literally like it just was kind of it was dots. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it was just curious. Talk. Yeah, our side was full. I just did I say that? Yeah, you <laughs> did. You made you made a mention of that. I'm yeah. not sure if I heard what you just said, but uh. full. <sighs> Anyways, wow. Uh, well, it's a good discussion though. But you know what? It's a great discussion. At the end of the day. The CFP did exactly what I said we, we would do. We would discuss it for one hour. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> we discuss it for one hour. So. It was a good snippet. Yeah. yeah. Well, we appreciate, obviously, you tuning in and uh, to this snippet slash episode. I haven't decided what I'm going to make this, but uh, uh, stay we'll do, tuned. Do both, yeah. Stay tuned for the next one.